Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are doing an overview of Special Edition Goosebumps Slappy Beware by R.L. Stein. Now this sits outside of Slappy's world but I saw it and I thought I'd grab it. Um, now one thing that I do like about the cover is, I'm not sure if you can see it, sort of ha ha sort of pop up which is really really cool when it's reflected on the lights i really do like that it does feel quite a solid solid little book as well which is very nice now in my mind and i'm a real book collector that i like hard books i like them to be perfect um i would like some of those individual books to be released in hardbacks now i guess the 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 only thing with that is the market that it's created for which is uh what eight to twelves i guess not grown-ups like me would their parents buy a book for that amount also we have a real digital format i i seem to find myself reading books on um kindle for example you know via that route etc so anyway that's just me. I would love some of those original books in hardback form. Anyway, you're in for a scare. Uh, the untired story of the world's most villainous dummy in the Goosebumps universe. There is no villain more feared than Slappy, endowed by his uh, magician creator with devious powers. Slappy has only one mission in his tiny deranged mind. Do evil every day, all day, but he may have met his match in the Colton family. Each of Slappy's attempts to ruin... Their lives ends in disaster when the dummy starts to panic. Will slap his scariest day yet. Bring an end to his reign of terror. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know, that's crazy. Also inside the special edition, Slappy art, interviews. Oh, that's pretty cool. Slappy's most iconic insults. So inside, we've got this nice red cover with the ha ha ha. Slappy beware, slappy beware, yep. Yeah. Uh, Goosebump series created by Parachute Press Inc. Copyright 2022. And then to Jane Stein, John Warricher, and Susan Laurie, the brains behind the screen. So I guess RL doesn't always do his work by himself. So RL Stein here, everyone, is his introduction. And that was a classic introduction when they first started doing the little TV series. He would, um, pop up in some of the iconic episodes at the beginning and do a little little spill here which was pretty cool so i like that being there that's very cool hopefully that gives an insight to um what he does so 200 years ago it's got nice art there which is cool i'm not sure if the art continues through it so let's just go through half a dozen pages just to see no there is more art which um is different not something we see usually in a goosebumps book so i actually think that's quite a good idea actually having some little artwork in there i feel like david williams does it really well when he has some artwork next to his stories you know we go some more artwork there Let's see if there's any more this is new usually i'll just skip to the end at this point and say that's how many chapters there are that's how many issues there are part four so it's separated in different parts which is interesting uh and then we got the epilogue so 150 pages let's just go back uh other than the epilogue there is when i swear i saw 40 pages 40 chapters no 40 chapters 40 chapters an epilogue and turn the pages if you dare and take a deep dive into the twisted mind of slappy so this is the extras Slappy's most iconic insults, jokes on you, and an interview with a dummy. Uh, so, Slappy on you. You need a checkup from the neck up. Is that your face, or did you forget to take out the garbage? It goes on and on and on there. I'm so smart, the dictionary asked me to define it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, and then some jokes on you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Jane. Jane who? Jane, your clothes, you stink. There we go. Um, being a grown-up, probably a kid, I probably wouldn't find that funny. Anyway, and then we got an interview with a dummy. So R.L. Stein does an interview with uh, Slappy, which um, 
A lot of people want to know what's your favorite food. Well, fifth graders are my favorite, but sixth graders can be delicious too. They're a little tough on, so you have to cook them longer. <laughs> there we go. That's cool. And then at the end, you've got uh, Looks Wanted, Horrorland, the original, which is still, in my mind, the best. And then um, they revamped it. And then Slappy World. And then here it's got quite nice. It's got all the special Slappy um, books, if you wanted to ever find the books. You know, you got Slappy World here, and then you've got all the books that have been ev evolved around slowly, solely, uh, solely around Slappy. So, we got Son of Slappy, Slappy Birthday to You, I'm Slappy's Evil Twin, The Ghost of Slappy, The Mummy Meets, no, The Dummy Meets the Mummy, Diary of a Dummy, My Friend Slappy, can't even read that, Slappy, Dreamland. Night of the Living Dummy, Night of the Living Dummy 2, Night of the Living Dummy 3, Bride of the Living Dummy. I feel like there was more slappy books out there, but I cannot remember. And there's got about the author. So there we go. So I feel like this is a very, very cool book. I like the fact that it's a nice hardcover. I feel like if I was a kid, this would be quite a cool Christmas present. Um, I don't think any of my kids read these anymore. So literally, these reviews, um, these overviews, I only do for you guys. And literally, the book sadly goes into a, a cupboard that's very sad isn't it so anyway if you like my channel please subscribe uh thank you to those that are already subscribed make sure you look after yourself it's very important these days there's a lot of um bad things in the world so make sure you look after yourself and there's always help out there and as always embrace your geekiness take care goodbye